the holy grail, I suppose, in this in this process was the recognition that one, the one thing the larynx does do is it changes pitch, and the one thing that these reeds won't do without subtle lip control is change pitch. So we decided to pursue the project of building an automated pitch controllable reed, and that's so what one thing that we kind of discovered here is that you change the length of the tongue and it'll change the pitch. So just so we decided to pursue that idea, and there's <clears throat> there are two main ways we decided to uh, go about, go about this. Either a flat reed and a curved lay, which you have to maintain as it goes down um, an angle so that it'll vibrate. So if you if you change the the length of the tongue, it'll get higher pitched and lower pitched. Oh. Yeah, this one right here, um, it's at an angle, but really it's a, it's a what it is a, a flat lay with a curved reed. So then by moving down, you get a higher pitch or a lower pitch. So, we decided that the easiest way to try and go about this to be able to move, basically change the length of the tongue, was to actually try and pursue this, this idea of just moving a slider back and forth across the reed. And this actually has, both of these reeds have um, steel, spring steel tongues. So you have the this, that we kind of worked this out as we all just, just kind of just started with a bunch of conceptual sketches here of like how we wanted this this thing to work and then drew them out to about the scale we wanted visually and then I've just been trying to convert our, our sketches into actual numbers. I machined this one just a few minutes ago. Okay. Out of this, just a solid block. I just got a couple more pieces to machine and drill some holes and it should work. I'm a professional bagpipe player, so I kind of jumped at the opportunity to work with him uh, in developing reeds and uh, sound making devices in general and just get more experience.